It is a second edition and grand finale of the Lagos State Public Primary Schools Debate Competition, an initiative by LG Music Academy International in partnership with the Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board and the Embassy of Ireland in Nigeria. My listening audience, it's a privilege of the male by allowing some females to live. Take it for granted because the female are helping. I'm not to take the lead at all time. But I'm not going to lose it when I go. Women are deliberate creatures of pride. They are gentle, made by God to be sheltered from the ashes of the world. End of quote. Not all right. Female are not fit to lead. A Yoruba state, he has a ruler of a to interpret mother is God, father is liver. What is the value of maternal love and sacrifice? Why father is class, means father love and authority. According to FCKC report, now gender equality can add up to 28 trillion to global GDP by 2025. A study by the World Economic Forum found that gender equality can add up to 23 billion to Nigeria's GDP by 2025. Panel of educators by having more female leaders. We can unlock potential of our nation. Are we not tired of suffering the male leadership we have? I must even say that our newly approved national anthem gives precedence to female. That is why we have the motherland instead of fatherland. Just in the other one, we need a paradigm shift. We need a better country. We need a more just humanistic and egalitarian society. We need to give leadership position to females to transform our country. The competition involving over 1,017 public primary schools across the six local government education authority districts in Lagos State is a reflection of LNGA's contribution in impacting the state positively and promoting high standard education among all children, regardless of their social economic background. A lot of that going on. Even at that uh, young uh, class, at that elementary class, but for us to have to, to have this kind of talent, to have children, I can see that I don't use to say they are on next to next goal, but they are average children, and they see the effort to ensure that they are not deprived of anything. They can compete with many students from many schools. So we kind of uh, something to display here today. And I again, I want to give so much appreciation to their teachers. And that tells you that we'll be able to showcase not only to everyone in Nigeria that we can have a situation where technology can put us in a better place and then make us comfortable and be able to compete in the global market when it comes to education. So that is why you are seeing our people excelling today in this competition. And we are scaling more. We've employed over 5,000 teachers, basically in our primary schools, so that they can provide a better education and build a better future for our people.
So this is one of our projects, finding a way to impact the society, impact the lives of the pupils. And I can tell you for free that this is actually one of my proudest moments since my engagement in hosting the All Public Primary School. We are filling the minds and hearts of these people with memories that will go to them, that will be with them for a very, very, very long time. Do you understand something? We should continue to um, find a way in which individually we can impact the lives of people, especially children. It's a wonderful experience for them. Uh, more than 1,000 uh, schools, uh, school pupils have taken part in this from 1,000 LGAs across, uh, across this magnificent city. And the teachers have given so much, the parents have given so much to them, and they learn not just from their own teammates, but also from the, uh, the, the uh, students from other schools. And they learn about topics, they learn how to present their topics, they learn how to listen when they're questioned, they, they learn how to respond to a challenge. And uh, as we heard this morning, in some cases, they take on board the challenge that they received, and you know, it's good preparation for life. It helps them to think deeper, it helps them to understand, you know, what is going on and to, to have a broader perspective of a lot of things around us. It's not just school, school, school. When we have debates like this, they actually make them read and understand and they talk to them about, you know, the topics that they're, that they're, that they're debating about. And it helps them to take that step or two outside the scope of their school curriculum. So I think it's a laudable venture. The competition witnessed enthusiastic participation from various schools with students engaging in vigorous debates, demonstrating their analytical abilities and eloquence.